Please welcome in the head coach of your BYU Cougars, Kalani Sitake. What's going on? Great to see you again. Yeah, here we go, man. Another week. With a Friday game, it was an extra day without me seeing you, so I'm glad that we're back together. I know. know. We we, 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 went late into the night, though. We did. That's true. We ended a Saturday morning. Good point. Uh, Friday nights, meantime, Friday nights or Saturday nights, any nighttime game at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, just seems like it gets more and more epic these days. Yeah, I mean, this one's crazy. The, the, um, the drones just made it so much different. I mean, like... Did you I, know I, they were coming when you walked no, out? I, I had no idea about all of it, and then I, I, I wasn't really paying attention to all that stuff. I'm trying to pay attention to the field, and I just kept taking peeks. I was like, what is that? And then <laughs> noticing it. Like, even didn't know Cosmo was going to be, uh, uh, you know, on top of the scoreboard, but on the, on the big screen. So we're all looking for him. But, I mean, it was just a lot of fun. I think the... Uh, the atmosphere is awesome. The players and, and uh, enjoy being around it, and the fans are were amazing. So I'm glad that we were able to pull it off. <laughs> everybody was was praying and willing it, and I, I think I give credit to everybody for making it happen. Thank you, guys. Yeah, but between the environment itself and then what the team is doing, uh, these are like show-stopping nights that you're putting on. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I like the boring wins, to be honest. Yeah, with I know you, you, you do. Know? So like, <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't mind these ones, and there's a lot of fun. But uh, I, I don't mind the other, the other ones too. So like we, we just, I think there's a lot to learn from this game. Um, it's it's where you can't just take. Uh, you think that you can make mistakes and that we're gonna be okay. I think the we're getting to the point now where some of those mistakes can can really hurt you and hurt your chances of winning. So we want our guys to play a little bit more clean. Um, and then then Oklahoma State did some things that were way different than what we expected. Um, they used the bye week well. They did. They did a great job with it. And uh, I think we could have made the adjustments earlier, but it's the, really the big plays of the, the two 50-yard runs were really hurtful. And then not getting out of the third downs, they, give them credit, they were making third and short. So we was, just couldn't make the plays to get out of third downs and get out of fourth downs. And, uh, but I like the way the guys just kept fighting. The effort was there. Uh, we made it really, really tough on them, but I uh, like to just like handle things earlier. But we really shot ourselves in the foot with some of the mistakes that we made as a team, but I'm glad that the guys stuck with it and were able to get this win eventually. We'll talk more about the game itself. I want to go big picture for a second, though. Uh, so much of your BYU fandom you know, goes back to when you were a kid and, and memories that get made uh, you know, when you're an impressionable youth and, and BYU football kind of roots in your heart a little bit. And games like Friday night, those end up as memory makers, right? Those are the things that kind of, again, take hold in people's uh, and be kind of you know, generate people's fandom. Yeah, and anytime you have you have uh, those special type of seasons where you're you're doing really really well, it's you just have to find ways to win, and 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 sometimes they're not the way you thought it was going to be, and sometimes they're really close. And uh, I, I like that it tested our team, but I like that our offense was able to find a way to get the win. We we practice that situation all the time, and I'm glad that the guys like it, it was it was like they've been used to it. You know, you you look at how uh, it made me a little nervous that we got the fourth down, but. Um, I, I like the way they were executing the plays that they're making. Jake did a great job extending the plays and getting that long run. Uh, Chase did a great job getting open and catching that ball on fourth down. And then obviously Darius did his thing. And um, I thought uh, that's why we were taking the timeouts when, when Oklahoma State was marching down to score or threatening to score. We're taking timeouts, trying to preserve as much time as we can, knowing that there, we might have to react with, with a score of our own to try to get the win. How's this team's a week? by week mentality that you've preached uh, from the get-go this year? Yeah, the team's really bought in on, on, on trying to get better. And, and um, you know, after the game, we want to celebrate and have a good time. And, but I, I love the, their mentality the next day. Um, guys got an early start on UCF and wanted to get, uh, you know, just kind of make some, some uh, corrections. I know the coaches and the players wanted to get, get working on the next week. And uh, the mentality was, like we always say, stay humble and stay hungry. And uh, I, li- I like the way the team came to work yesterday, and, and I like the way they practice, um, you know, with, with yesterday's meetings and today's practice and all that stuff. It was, it's going really nicely. We just don't know what's going to happen this weekend, but I know our guys will give the best effort, and the work during the week is looking really good, and I have to give that a lot of credit to the senior leadership that we have on our team. Uh, what did you do with your open Saturday, by the way? Uh, just get ready for UCF and, and spend some time with family, you know, just try to... I was a little bit lazy, too, just to be honest with you. I just <laughs> watched some football and um, hung out, and, and then I always eat, so that was always fun. But, um, yeah, it, it was just a, a 
a good day to relax. I wanted our coaches to kind of get, get that time to, to chill, but knowing our coaches and our players, then they all went to work. A lot of our players showed up on Saturday to get some extra work in, get some extra film in. So uh, it's nice when you have a, a bunch of guys that just want to take the initiative and take ownership of the team. And I, I'm, I'm really honored to be able to coach those guys. Let's get back into what went down on Friday. It was four days ago, Oklahoma State playing in Provo for the first time ever. It was the Cougs and Pokes for the fourth time all time. BYU looking for its first ever win over OSU. We do take a look back with this week's Momentum Moment and top player performances presented by Waystar. And the Momentum Moment, we're going to pick the three plays in the final drive. Fourth and seven, big grab by Chase Roberts to keep the game going. And then Jake Retzloff. When some people might think he's going to go out of bounds, he cuts it upfield, huge gain, kind of setting up the dramatics that followed right after. He did a great job running the ball all night, and so I'm glad he's able to get that done. And then this one, I think we all have seen this a bunch of times. <laughs> um, it's just the weird thing is how Darius had this dance ready to go. It just doesn't, like, just knew that it was going to happen. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, uh, I just love, love the way that the players, on the sideline, the belief was there. You know, I mean, we're just having a lot of fun. and, and we have fun all the time, but it's just it's, things are working really nicely. And I, like I said, the, the leadership that we're getting on the team, is it's, it's dynamic, and I, I love being with those guys. What I love most when watching it or hearing it after was just how loud the crowd was. I mean, the place just exploded. Yeah, I mean, that's it, it hurts us sometimes when we're trying to – it's crazy because the defense is asking for more noise, but then they're trying to communicate, and they're, they miscommunicated sometimes. So it's like – Thanks a lot, guys. You guys gave up some big plays <laughs> with miscommunication. We're trying to throw them off, not us, but maybe there's, we have to work with crowd noise when we're playing at home. We, we, we really are going to do that. Talked about it with, with Jay and the defensive staff, and so they just got to get used to doing that. It's, just, it's, it's deafening, and it's, um, it's awesome, so don't stop. It's a, we'll, we'll, we'll communicate better, and we'll have things. <laughs> we'll do, a, do better signals and things like that, but um, it, it's such a huge advantage for us, and you saw – Mike Gundy gave gave it a lot of credit on the, yep. the atmosphere and that the game and, uh, and just I'm, like I said I, like, I love showing off BYU and love showing off our fans. Let's get into some individuals that stood out on Friday. L.J. Martin. It was actually kind of surprising when I thought about the fact that it was his first 100-yard game. It felt like he had a couple last year because he's so good. Uh, first 100-yard game, uh, career-high 120 rush yards, two more touchdowns for LJ. Great to have him back. Yeah, he's starting to get really comfortable with the scheme and, and the technique that we're using. And have to give a lot of credit to the guys that are blocking downfield. But he's making people miss, too. He's, he's, uh, he's starting to really start to get the rhythm of everything. And, Man, I, I think he's a, he's a force for us. That's why he, not a lot of true freshmen come in and play for you right away. And he did that for us last year. And I mean, he's 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 a, he's a dynamic and special player. And it was great to have the depth in the running back room when he was out. But now that he's back, you just you see what you were missing with him. Yeah, I, I love the depth on our team and the buy-in and the guys that, that um, you know we can go to to all the backs. I mean, we had six running backs that we used this year. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, we have two more that we can use just in case, but I don't want to do that. Let, let's stick with the guys that we have now. And we know that, that we can use the other guys in some packages and things that we can do to, to gain an advantage. But th there we had some two back sets too. And so uh, it's just nice to have, have the, the backs back and healthy with him and Hinkley. Let's talk about the player that uh, Coach Aaron Roderick selected as his offensive player of the game. And that was Darius Lassiter. Career high 129 receiving yards for Darius. Yeah, he's just so smooth, and he and he runs great routes. And first this play is the, the first here. play of the game, you know, just great, great skills and, and tracking the ball in the air. And, and so I'm, I'm really proud of him. And, and he does. I mean, he's he's worked extremely hard for this, and just really glad that it's all working out. And it, it gives us a little bit more. You saw him and and Keelan and JoJo and you know and all, all the different receivers, Chase Roberts, all the guys we can go to. It, it, it's nice to have all those guys ready to roll. And let's take a look at uh, a defensive player as well. And it was the player that uh, Jay Hill picked as his defensive player of the game from Oklahoma State. And that's the true freshman safety, Tommy Prasser. Yeah, Tommy did a great job at free safety for us. And I uh, know him and uh, we, we have a number of safeties get, that get in there and get reps. And uh, for a true freshman, I mentioned it about LJ being a true freshman to play. And this is Tommy being able to be a true freshman to play for us. It's been amazing. So he's got a, a bright future ahead of him. But... Yeah, we got a lot to accomplish this year, and I, I love his work ethic. He's comes from a great family, and his, and he's used to being successful. And, and I'm, I, I, I think his instincts are doing really well for us. He can scoop and score. Yeah, had the. Uh we have been teaching Harry how to do that a little bit this week. So it'll, it'll we called work. him Touchdown Tommy after that one earlier. So it's the second takeaway of the year. He had the scoop and score mm -hmm. and now the interception. 